I'd like to conclude with a folk tale about a young man who gave up his life to save someone else's. When he went to the world beyond, he was asked whether he wanted to reside in the place up above or the place down below. Well, this young guy said, hey, I want to see both places before I make my decision. First he went down below, and there he saw a big pot of sweet-smelling bubbling soup in the center of the space. People were sitting all around, and everybody had a long-handled spoon, long enough to reach the nutritious soup. But when he looked at the people, they were sick, pale, just miserable. Then he went up above. Surprisingly enough, he saw the exact same thing, a big pot of sweet-smelling bubbling in the center of the space, and people sitting all around. Everybody had a long handle, long enough to reach that soup. But when he looked at the people up above, they were smiling. They were robust and full. The young man wondered, why the difference when both places have the same thing? Down below, the people were trying to feed themselves. The handles of the spoons were so long that by the time they got the soup, the soup could never quite reach their own mouths. Up above, he noticed that the people didn't even try to feed themselves. They only fed each other. And when this young man was asked again whether he wanted to reside in the place up above, or the place down below, where do you think he chose? <laughs> this folk tale is 2,000 years old. And the original version says that he chose to live up above because this young man deserves to be in a good place. But like some of you, I believe too that this young man decided to live down below because there he could make a difference.